Hi, I'm Hitomi, a Nifty producer and your average DIYer. Today I'm going to show you some budget-friendly upcycle projects that anybody could start today. For this project, we're using wine crates, which is super accessible nowadays at every craft store. Sometimes you could find them on the streets. Turning a wine crate into a coffee table is actually a really good fusion of the creativity and being very resourceful. As a Nifty producer, we all strive to make every level of project attainable. By the end of each project, we're that much more knowledgeable on using a certain tool or process that we could carry on to the next one. We decided to use some pegboards as a base. The little holes turn as little guidelines for your legs and then you don't really have to drill anything directly into the crates so it's a power tool free project. Clamps are actually a great investment. You need to hold things together, you need to keep things still, it's pretty much another hand that's there to help. Also you could always add more crates if you're looking for something bigger. This project is super customizable with any wood stain or paint. You can add wheels if you want to so you could roll it around and you could pretty much do whatever you want to it to get the look that you want. It's a great feeling after you do a project like this because it makes you feel super accomplished and it's actually great because you get to see it every day. For this project, we are making outdoor patio furniture using some pallets and it's great for small spaces. Pallets are awesome. They really could become anything you want it to. We used one pallet and turned it into a patio seating area. You could find a pallet almost anywhere. This one I actually found in the back of a flower shop. It's something that anybody could do. We sliced it in half and we made these customized cushions and it pretty much makes your balcony pop. Sometimes when you have balcony space, you're like, what do I do with it? With a pallet, you could turn it into these corner seating areas and it really opens it up. You could enjoy the view you have. You could enjoy the time you spend with friends. It's really nice. Spending time outside is so key and important in my life. If it's sunny outside, I want to be outside. If it's broken, you could still salvage it and turn it into something that accommodates your needs. I just really needed outdoor furniture, so slicing this bad boy in half, putting a cushion on it, turning it into my own patio seating area is a great project. Projects like this seem intimidating, but it's actually not. Once you get it cut in half, you just have to stack it, put some cushions on it. You could customize it to your look. If you want that bow, Boho look, just add some nice flowers. If you want that desert, California rustic, could add some cactuses or succulents, or even like a jungle theme, like add some pop of color. The palette is a perfect base. It's like that perfect canvas to your balcony. You know, this furniture actually uses the slats in the palettes so we could store a couple things in there. I personally will add my dog's toys so it's kind of clutter free on the ground. It also is perfect for small spaces as well as big spaces. Really, this is just a starting point, but it could really go anywhere you want it to be and go. This next example is a popular nifty project. The producer that made this video literally grabbed tires off the street. This is truly an upcycle project that came together with stuff around the studio. We took a tire, some hot glue and rope, and turned it into some outdoor seating that actually acts as a storage space as well. The storage space is great for any backyard activity. It's a great way actually to hide things. You don't want your backyard being cluttered. I got a lot of my creativity from back in the day when I was a marine mammal trainer. We had to come up with new toys or apparatuses for any projects we were working on and they don't make commercial sized dolphin toys so a lot of times we would DIY projects it was always a challenge but it worked as a nifty producer we're always trying to stay creative and we feed off of each other like sometimes we'll come up with an idea and another producer will help us out being like oh add this to it or take this away and a lot of our projects we might have an idea and our friends just kind of collaborate. We get super creative when we're all together too because everybody has something to bring to the table. These are projects that we want viewers to be inspired by and have them make it because we honestly believe that every project we make is really useful in our everyday lives. Every project that I work on is something that I'm proud of. It makes me a better DIYer for the next project I'm going into. A lot of our projects Project, we will make it for us because obviously we want to take it home. <laughs>
This next project is a great example of a budget-friendly upcycle that I still use to this day. This project was super fun. I love barbecuing and summer's around the corner, so the smell of charcoal just makes me so happy. I was at my mom's house and I found this flower pot in the corner and I was like, what can I do with this? I decided to make a smoker out of these two terracotta pots and I had a little old grill from my college days and so I just took the grate out and it fit perfectly in there, so I just had to buy the gasket tape to get that nice seal. This project was assembling two things that you might have or maybe your parents might have. Growing up, my mom's cooked for me all the time and I was very fortunate that she was a grill master. I returned the favor by smoking some meats for her and she really enjoys this. Anytime I come over and we barbecue together, this is one of the projects that she's proud of. Since I took the flower pot from my mom's house, I thought this would be a great gift to return to my mom. Anytime I walk in a store and see something I like, instead of buying it, I try to figure out how I can make it myself. Cause one, I'll save a lot of money. And two, maybe the one at the store won't fit in my house or I need it a certain way. Maybe I don't like the color. And honestly, if I could figure out a way to do it on my own, I think I would take much better care of it as well. Making projects like this is a really good example of something we do on a daily basis, but we get to really enjoy it when it's out of the studio. What nifty projects have you made with the hand? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same as pointy.